Hello and welcome back to the Villa View 4 fan cams after Aston Villa's 4-2 win over Norwich City. Let's go and see what the fans think. <laughs> I thought Steve Bruce got it right first and foremost. I thought he played the right system. He let Hurrahan get forward and let Whelan hold and basically Hurrahan got closer to Davis so he had something to play off. Because in the last two games I thought Gabby or whoever was Hogan, they both isolated and no one could get close to him. So I thought Hurrahan got close to him which allowed him to create the chance and obviously it showed today with a ha beautiful hat trick. I think the game overall game was really good, really quite exciting and I think as a team, I think the team played really quite well, exciting football and, it, and enjoyable football, yeah. I think, I, don't, I didn't see the last two games but today I think was assured. Uh, a team game that they're playing together. How many times did we actually lose the ball to the other team? Not many. Okay. And I thought, I thought the, uh, that kind of discussion about the first half and second half. First half, we were quite a really quite a good team, very interesting and enjoyable. Second half, things went off the ball a bit, but we won the game. We scored four goals. I thought that after um, I don't know Murphy was it scored his goal. I thought, oh dear, here's another defeat from 2-0 up we're going to go down lose 3-2 but then we reacted really well Conor Hurahan what a match he had he could be our saviour this season Steve Bruce did not put his trust in him at all at the start of the season but he's just come in and showed that he should be in the starting lineup every week and also playing in a more attacking role with Glenn Whelan sitting back a bit I like that and maybe Glenn Whelan did look a bit tired today I thought so maybe Millet Yednack can come in soon I know he's close to full fitness and he can really turn things around but yeah definitely looking up oh it's really good after Reading on Tuesday this was just it's really good Conor Horahan what a player this is the Conor Horahan we saw at Barnsley and the one that Steve Bruce brought and the one that when you take the shackles off this is what he can do first half we did our usual attacking played well quite high tempo look could have scored more than two goals I reckon we're unlucky at some areas but then the second half it looked like it was going to be a traditional Villa we, we slipped the lead and to be honest they came close but no, we just kept going forward, which I think that proves today that attack can be the best defence at times, which I think we need to see more of at Villa. This has been spied too many times where we've conceded like a goal at the last minute and it's cost us vital points. So I think today we've really made the most of our chances. The trouble with the fans like last week, they gave up on Bruce. They was calling for his head. Yeah, they can't sting enough of him. They should give him a chance, like Sherwood should have been having a chance as well. All managers should be being given a chance, I think. He stumbled across a gem in Davis, hasn't he? He's, he's, find, he's found someone who can link the back and the front in that first half. You know, he's, he's a big lad, muscle lad, but he doesn't knock the ball on. He kind of brings it down, sometimes a bit lucky to get it down, but he brings it down and he plays it on the floor. And then our midfield are coming in and they're getting goals. That was the first time in ages I've been to a Villa game and at half time I thought that could have been three or four, you know, like it was really encouraging and you just didn't see that at Reading. It was just completely the opposite. They went one down and it was just like, it was negative and it was poor. But today, even when we conceded and they were poor goals to concede, but even when we conceded, we went straight back and we, you know, looked to score again and we did. Key thing for me today, Matt, was when Hutton was getting skinned down the line almost every time they were attacking heavily on the left hand side he gets on in yellow a 2-0 up you think get Brie on take him off because that's really where the danger came from they go 2-1 it's really panicky then he changes it why the 10 minutes you know but we had the lucky deflection which made up for Whelan at Reading I suppose and it's evened itself out a little bit thought we'd be a bit more solid with Terry there than we seem to be I thought that with someone like him there, we would, we would always look a bit more stable than we did today, even at 3-2. I thought that we would uh, be a bit more, bit more solid and we looked a bit dodgy at 3-2. Hoonaran played really well. He, should, he deserved his hat-trick. Like, Davis, was, for his debut, he was really good. Like, and What's his name that got injured today? On a bar. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's, it's yeah. sad for him to come off. He played like really well, but Hutton, you've got to get out of the squad, mate. You, you're too bad. <laughs> But Bree, as soon as he came on with, with Hutton, like when he came off, Bree played, played well, he kept marking each other. But that Norwich who, who Hutton wasn't marking, he was excellent today. It was a statement of intent today when we went to up half time, we were all like, yes, like we finally, like, shackles been taken off, we were like, we we're going at Norwich, we were all happy. And then suddenly our massive were on downfall again, they got two goals in and we were like, 
we cannot throw this away. We cannot, seriously cannot throw a two, two goal lead away and then thank God for Hurler and I think he's just bailed Bruce out for another week. Bree looked quite good when he came on actually and I'm quite happy for him because he, he's one of these players I, I've wanted to see for a while and he, he, show, he showed his, um, his worth and he was unlucky at the end uh, not to get an assist I think um, down the byline and um, I think he played quite well. Yeah I thought Alan Hutton played well in the first half but in the second half Josh Murphy came to life and really um, and Hutton struggled against him. I thought Neil Taylor weren't the best either. Interesting one now both from Norfolk one's a Villa fan one's yeah, a Norwich fan get the Norwich reaction first on today. Um, what actually happened? Because for me, you got schoolboyed by a 19 yeah. year old striker who's not really played any first team football. Yeah, I think you're right. I think, well, for a start, the side that he put out wasn't wasn't good enough, really. Um, he had a Marco Stipe in there. He's, he's again from Dortmund, too. He's not really, you know, proved himself as a, at this level of, of football. Um, yeah, he, I can't really say any more than that. He, he had the wrong side. I think he tried to go more defensive, put some big boys in there, but it just didn't work. From your perspective, got yeah. one over your brother for one, but yeah. secondly, again, again as well. After so recent results today was more of what was needed yeah definitely I think that uh, the boys showed a bit more fight today you could see that I think maybe the pressure was on and they needed to put a performance in um, my man of the match besides Connor uh, getting a hat-trick was with Davis he was an absolute beast you know he did he did the job held the ball up and you can't ask for more from that you know from a young lad and I think um, yeah hopefully we can kick on from here as long as we can just start believing how big a club we are we can we can push on and, and, and push on for promotion. That's what we need. And who stood, say stood out for you? Horahan. Oh, stupid question, really, today. <laughs> he won the game for us. I mean, scoring a hat trick from midfield, it's always going to be a man of the match performance. Can't remember the last time that happened for Villa. Thought he was brilliant. Uh, very good game. Horahan Horahan definitely deserved his goals because he was just absolutely brilliant all game. Because he's got the confidence to shoot now, and hopefully that will rub off on some of the others. You know, don't shoot, don't score. But today he was he was great, and then for a young lad, Keen Davis has come in there and really bossed it up. There. Well, I remember Peter with, so you know somebody that can hold the ball up. Why we don't play two up front? You know, big man, smaller guy. We got two of the smaller guys if you can include McCormack. Um, Andre Green scored a great goal. I mean, that'd probably be the goal of the day if you ask me. I thought I thought he was incredible. If you look at his age, what well, this Norwich centre back's like double his age, but he was obviously so much stronger than me. Is I haven't seen a player since Ben Teke hold up the ball as well as he has. He'll have played Gabby, even Kodja. He, he just holds up the ball so well and he brings other players into play and allows players like Green to flourish. And I thought obviously Green played very well in the first half, certainly today. When I saw the team sheet, I was absolutely buzzing that Agbon Hall wasn't on there, to be honest. Keenan Davis, bit of youth, he's absolutely incredible. He looks like he's been doing that for years. He's, his hold-up play is incredible. He's such a big lad and he's, if we can keep him and play him most weeks in the championship, he's going to do really well. To be honest, it helps when you have younger players because they can um, link up with the older players that have more experience. He's that player we've been missing for a while. He really, show, he really, really did show his worth today and I think I'm quite happy they gave him a gave him game today actually. He played amazingly well today, very unlucky not to score that goal, hit the crossbar. He was still shaking after about 10 minutes I thought but you know, he was, like I said, he was unlucky not to score and he definitely created a lot of chances, definitely put the Norwich defence on edge and I think if he can keep doing that I can't see why he won't start. I mean if, he, if he's getting the results then play him. Really impressed with him, I couldn't believe that was his debut to be honest, that was just fantastic from him and he was big and imposing he was fast he was reading the ball really well I was really impressed with him today you know I said last season uh, I love things you or Dan were like he was a thug up front we want a thug up front he is going to be our thug up front he's not going to get the goals but I think he needs he needs a partnership he, need, he does definitely need Hogan up there but very very impressed so joined by Jack from Tottenham City I looked to the side today and you probably did as well but for me your four best players were sat on the bench in Houlihan in, uh, Marley Watkins and then Nelson Oliveira who end up coming on and scoring. Uh, I looked at the team in the exact same way. Uh, it, it, it was very, very strange. Coming off the back of a, a very good win against QPR, who started the season very well, and I think they're probably going to have a good season. We looked excellent on Wednesday, uh, but you go back to last Sunday, and when we played Sunderland, it was the exact same as today. We've got a midfield made up of Stephen Naismith and Mario Vrancic. Now, Vrancic is a good player on his day. Stephen Naismith is not a central midfielder. He's not a central midfielder. And we were overrun on the whole game in the midfield. And that was why Hurahan had such joy today. And our defence wasn't great. And Jerome was 
average at best and um, yeah, it wasn't good. You got schooled at def- in defence by a young 19-year-old who's part- hardly played any first ten minutes for us in Keenan Davis. I was quite surprised about that, but what did you make of the way that he just sort of like managed to bully them all out? So, top, the striker up top? Yeah. yeah. He looked very good, actually. I was very impressed. He's physically, physically very good. Um, he was unlucky not to get a goal, I thought. And Zimmerman and Frank have been decent, to be fair, at the start. But let's not forget, these were playing fourth division German football last year, so, so it's going to take some adapting. But for him to come in in the championship as a 19-year-old lad and do such a job and hold the ball up so well and bring the midfield into play was very impressive. And I think you boys might have a, a good player on your hand there. And then really Norwich didn't take their chances because to me at one point it could have been 2-2, maybe even 3-3 today. Yeah, definitely. I think towards the to, towards the last stage of the game, when we get it back to 3-2, you start to think, OK, we might have something here. Murphy was 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 doing fantastically well. We had Nelson on the pitch, he'd already got his goal and he thought, OK, this is we might get a point here. And uh, it was a shocking decision from the line but we won't look into that too much and um, backed off once again and Hurahan scores. Simple, poor from us. First of all, you had a little Tom sat with you today. Yeah, Good luck, yeah. Tom. Yeah, he really was. He, he enjoyed the game. He didn't stop singing and swearing as well through, through, <laughs> through, through the whole game. Yeah, really, really good to have him sat next to me. He knows a lot about football, as you know. Today, I didn't know what to expect. I predicted nil-nil yeah. for one. But secondly, Davis has come in today and he's bossed that game. So. Yeah, I think that shows that really we don't need Sam Gallagher on loan. I don't think we need any more players other than perhaps a backup left back and maybe a centre back. Like, I think we've got the players there. We played with the shackles off today. And we looked a lot more comfortable going forward. You see Horahan in the box for the first goal, on the edge of the box for his other goals. It's just a really good performance. Everyone did their bit today, I think. Obviously very happy with how we've played today. I just hope that now we continue this, we get a bit more momentum on Tuesday, you'd think, against Wigan. And then the big test will be having an away game. I'm a little bit worried about how many goals we're shipping at the moment. I don't think we look comfortable at the back at the moment. But at the moment, we're having a different right back every game. So maybe when we get settled, back four, Will, will improve from that side of things. A win is a win in this situation at the moment. Getting those three points on the board and trying to build some momentum from there is important. But as I say, four goals can't complain. Conor Horan, shackles are off him. Keenan Davis has come in and really shown that he can cut it and we don't perhaps need another striker in on loan. And then finally, Andre Green has finally got his goal. Bit of light relief for him after recent times. If you haven't enjoyed this video, then please do drop us that like below. Comment on your thoughts on the game and subscribe to The Villa View with your post notifications on. If you enjoyed that video, why not watch another one? Click the video choices on screen now to go and watch them in full. And don't forget to subscribe. Click on our logo there on the left and press subscribe. Easy.